Aeration and oxygen production in natural waters. Aeration is the exchange of gases between water and air. As the water is exposed to the atmosphere and energy of some type is added, the gases in the water exchange with the gases in the air, and they begin to move towards equal levels of each gas, mainly oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. Generally, this brings an increase of oxygen levels in the water. Oxygen is generally lower in the water because it is being consumed by many different organisms and chemical processes in the water. Water may also contain some smaller level of other gases from degrading organic debris. These may be toxic to aquatic life and it's important to the ecosystem that these are allowed to escape the system. We see several examples of aeration in natural occurring bodies of water. Rocky shoals and streams, waterfalls, wave action are all examples of conditions that add the necessary energy to water for the exchange of gases. This is just one source of increasing oxygen in water. The other source of increasing oxygen levels in natural waters is plant life, whether that is in the form of single-celled algae called phytoplankton, or filamentous algae growing up from the bottom of the pond, or in the form of submerged vascular rooted plants. All plants undergo photosynthesis when exposed to sunlight, consuming carbon dioxide and producing oxygen during the process. Some aquatic plants can be easier to get along with than others, but they are helping with the oxygen levels. Without sunlight, plants undergo respiration, consuming oxygen and producing carbon dioxide. With normal sunny days, plants will produce a net increase in oxygen. On cloudy days, they may consume more oxygen than they produce. Also, since sunlight can generally penetrate a limited depth in the water, photosynthesis is limited to the upper layer. The single cell algae called phytoplankton can darken the water and enhance the layered division of a pond or lake. The layering or stratification has other effects on water quality as well. Stagnant ponds and lakes without regular aeration from natural wind or flow action are left to photosynthesis to add oxygen to the water. Since photosynthesis occurs only during sunlight hours and stratification limits areas that oxygen can be produced, oxygen levels vary greatly in different areas of the water and also on a daily and seasonal basis. Natural waters are a great asset, but natural conditions are not always optimal or predictable.